GCE O Level Mathematics Lecture 1 Numbers Hello everyone, my name is Dennis. This video is brought to you by Ace with Dennis. Now, learning can be smart, not hard. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification button to stop missing out free lessons from me. Here are the learning objectives of today's lesson. First, you will learn how to recognize different types of numbers in number system. Then, you will know how to identify and categorize given numbers. Then, it is followed by to state examples of different types of numbers. We know that mathematics is all about numbers. There are many types of numbers under the number system. Let's discuss some common types of numbers. 1. Real numbers. Real numbers are numbers that consist of both rational numbers and irrational numbers. Why is rational numbers? Rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed in the form of A or B, where a and B are integers. B should not be z 0. Real numbers include all integers and fractions. Here are some examples like negative 1 and 2 third, negative 2, 0, 1, half, and 3 and 2 fifth. On the other hand, Irrational numbers are opposite of rational numbers. Irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be expressed as A over B. Here are some examples. Special constants like pi and natural number or Euler's number E. Square root of none, perfect square numbers like square root of 3, square root of 5, square root of 30, and etc. And cube roots of non-perfect cube numbers like cube root of 2, cube root of 7, cube root of 12, and etc. Notice that when a number is a prime number, when we square root it or cube root it, we will get irrational numbers. Irrational numbers consist of non-terminating and non-recurring decimals. Whole numbers Whole numbers are numbers that consist of zero and all positive integers. Here are some examples. As stated in the definition, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Natural numbers. Natural numbers are numbers that consist of all positive integers. Examples are 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Notice that 0 is not under natural numbers. 6. Integers. Integers are whole value numbers inclusive of positive numbers, negative numbers, and zero. Examples are negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and etc. Decimal numbers. There are three types of decimal numbers. Type number one, terminating decimals. Terminating decimal has finite decimal digits. Here are a few examples like 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.75, 0 0.1, and etc. Second type, recurring decimals. Recurring decimals have a number of decimal digits that repeat 
indefinitely. Here are examples 0 0.3333 or we can just write 0 0.3 dot 0 0.2323 or we can just write 0 0.23 with two dots on each number 0 0.123123 and we can rewrite it as 0 0.123 with one dot at the digit 1 and the second dot at digit number 3 type number 3 non-terminating and non-recurring decimals non-terminating and non-recurring decimals have a number of decimal digits that do not repeat in any particular pattern examples pi which is 3.142159 and so on square of a prime number like square of 2 which equals 1.4142135 and so on now let's practice to write recurring decimals here is an example convert the following fractions into decimals a 2 thirds b 7 over 12 c 17 over 6 d 7 over 99 e 5 over 33 and f 2 over 7 you can use calculator to help you to convert the fractions into decimals for a 2 third if you use calculator you get the value is 0 0.6666 you can rewrite it as 0 0.6 with a dot at the top of the digit 6. This indicates that the digit 6 here repeat indefinitely. Next, 7 or 12, you get 0 0.58333. And you notice that the digit 3 repeat indefinitely. Hence, you can rewrite it as 0 0.5. 583 with the dot at the top of the digit 3 which indicates that this digit 3 repeats indefinitely for c 7 over 6 17 over 6 you get 2.8333 and you also notice that the digit 3 repeat indefinitely therefore you can rewrite it as 2.83 with the dot is at the top of the digit 3. For D, 7 over 99, you get 0 0.0707 0 .07 and 0 07. You notice that the digit 0 and 7 repeats indefinitely. Hence, you can rewrite it as 0 0.07 with one dot at the top of 0 and another dot at the top of 7. For E, 5 over 33, you get 0 0.151515 and you notice that 1 and 5 repeats indefinitely. Therefore, you can rewrite it as 0 0.15 with the 1 dot at the top of the digit 1 and 1, to 1 dot at the top of digit 5. For F, 2 over 7, you get 0 0.28. 5714285 and you notice that the there are a series of digits repeats which is 285714 and we repeat again 285714 and so on so therefore for this series you will start with digit 2 and end with digit 4 therefore you can rewrite it as 0 0.285714 with a dot at the top of the digit 2 and another dot at the top of the digit 4 which indicates that this is the start of the digit and this is the end of the digit that the series of the numbers 
repeat indefinitely. Let's convert recurring decimals into fractions. Here is an example. A, 0 0.6, dot. So, how to convert this decimal into fraction? There are a few steps to follow. Here is a step number one. We will let x to be 0 0.6 dot. This is the first equation. Step number two. We multiply 10 for both sides. Then we'll get 10x equals 6.6 .6 dot. And this is equation number 2. Step number 3. We can get equation number 2 minus equation number 1. Which is 10x minus x equals 6.6 .6 dot minus 0 0.6 dot. And we get 9x equals 6. We make x a subject. It is equals 6 over 9, which is 2 third. Hence, 0 0.6 dot equals 2 third. Let's try another example. B, 0 0.583. And the dot is at the digit number 3. So we repeat the same step. Let x equals 0 0.583. 583 dot which is the first equation then we multiply 10 for both sides we get 10x equals 5.83 dot and this is our second equation then we can take equation number 2 minus with equation number 1 and this is what we get 10x minus x equals 5.83 dot minus 0 0.583 dot which will get 9x equals 5.8333 minus 0 0.583333 so to do the operation of subtraction here we can do it this way 5.8333 minus 0 0.583333 and we can see that starting here they are repeating trees at the back for both values and when they minus they will cancel out each other hence when we do the operation of subtraction here we get 5.250 therefore 9x equals 5.25 then we make x the subject, it becomes 5.25 divided by 9, and the value is 7 over 12. Now we look at another example, and this round, you can try to do it yourself. Convert 0 0.07 dot dot into fraction. You can pause the video and try to convert yourself. So here is the solution. We'll repeat the same process. Step number one, let x equals 0 0.07 dot dot. This is our first equation. Then we multiply 100 for both sides, which is 100x equals 7.07 dot dot. This is our second equation. Then equation two minus equation one, so we get 100x minus x equals 7.07 dot dot minus 0.07 dot dot. You might ask, why do we multiply 100 for both sides, not 10 for both sides? Here is the reason. So we want to do the operation of subtraction here, which is 99x equals 7.0707 minus 0 0.0707. If you want to minus manually, this is what you get. 7.0707 minus 0 0.0707 so we can see that the number after the decimal point which start with 0 here right they will be the same therefore they will cancel out each other therefore the result here we get 
just 7. Hence, 99x equals to 7 and x equals 7 over 99. Let's summarize all the types of numbers that we have discussed so far. We want to represent them into organization charts. So, everything and for mathematics are under number system. In number system, the numbers are divided into two main categories. The first one is real numbers and the next is imaginary numbers. At our level, we don't learn imaginary numbers. For real numbers, it can be divided into two, which is rational numbers and irrational numbers. In rational numbers, it can be divided into three categories. The first one is integers, fractions, and decimals. For integers, it can be broken into two, which is whole numbers and negative numbers, negative integers. In whole numbers, it can be divided into natural numbers, which consists of all the positive integers and zero. For fraction, it can be divided into proper fractions and improper fractions, or sometimes it is called mixed numbers. For decimals, there are three categories under decimals. The first is terminating decimals, second is recurring decimals, and the third is non-recurring and non-terminating decimals. However, these numbers is under irrational numbers. There are other types of numbers that we haven't discussed so far. The first is perfect square numbers. Perfect square numbers are numbers that come from squaring whole numbers. Here's our example, 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, and so on. Or they give us the value of 1, 4, 9, 16, and so on. 2. Perfect cube numbers. Perfect cube numbers are numbers that come from cubing whole numbers. Here are some examples like 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube, 4 cube, and so on. All the values are 1, 8, 27, 64, and so on. Odd numbers. Odd numbers are non pair numbers. It is not divisible by 2. Here are a few examples like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, so on, 19, 27, 165, 7,541, 24,683, and so on. In general, all numbers can be expressed as 2n plus 1, where n is integer. The last digit of all numbers, or the ones place, is 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. Opposite of all numbers are even numbers. Even numbers are pair numbers. They are divisible by 2. Here are a few examples like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so on, and 68, 314, 246, 3000, and 22, and etc. In general, even numbers can be expressed as 2n, where n is an integer. The last digit of even numbers, or the ones place, is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Next, prime numbers. Prime numbers are natural numbers that can be divided by 1 and itself. Examples are 2, 3, 5, 7, and so on. Notice that 
one is a not one is not a prime number. Composite numbers composite numbers are natural numbers that have at least two different factors. For examples here are four, six, eight, nine and so on. Notice also that one is not a composite number. Hence ones is neither prime numbers nor composite numbers. After discussing all the types of numbers under number system, let's talk about the questions that are related to examination. Here's an example. Consider the following set of numbers below. Square of 0 0.81, negative 7, square of 3, 0, 3.142, 16, 209. 11. So the question is state all the possible natural numbers, integers, irrational numbers, and prime numbers. Here is the solution. For A, the natural numbers are 16, 11. For B, the integers are 87. 0, 16, and 11. For C, the irrational numbers are sub 3. Okay, there is only one answer. For D, the prime number is 11. Now, you can try this similar example yourself. Consider the following set of numbers below 0 0.4, 3 and a half, negative 4, 1, third 5, pi, 3, 49, 19, and 169. State all the possible A. Prime numbers, B. Square numbers, and C. Irrational numbers. You can pause the video and try to solve it yourself. Here is the solution. For A, the prime numbers are 3 and 90. B, the square numbers are 49 and 169. And C, the irrational numbers are square of 5 and pi. Do you get all the answers correctly? Alright, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Do you have any questions or thoughts to share? Feel free to write it down in the comment. I would love to hear from you. Do you like this video? Please don't forget to like it and share it with your friends. Until then, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead.